So I'm Diane Waldo. I am the Director of Quality and Clinical Services with the Hospital Association. It's not working. Is that better? It's on, but I'm not close enough. Better? 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 Okay. So I'll stand here with it glued to my face. Just put your hand up if you can't hear. So um, <clears throat> Steve asked for a couple of minutes to hear about what hospitals are doing around readmission data. So I wanted to just let you know um, where we are from that perspective and just really kind of focus on uh, what we know at this point in time. <clears throat> Harold mentioned this morning that we um, are measuring readmission data. Everyone's kind of got their hand in the pie. We know a lot more this year, right now, than we did last year. Um, hospitals uh, are, are really doing their own thing around readmission data. That's what we found when I went out to survey to say, um, are you, do you even care about this? What are you doing about it? Um, as you would expect to hear and see that they had variable processes and software um, and so we saw this as an opportunity through the hospital association to begin to track this in a standardized manner to help our member hospitals uh, do a better job around this. So what we decided to do was um, to enlist our OAHHS data subsidiary. We have, we have a for-profit data portion of the association um, that are experts in this regard, and you're gonna hear uh, a little bit more about what they've been able to put together. They're known as Apprise Health Insights, and it is a way to generate a report that uh, is a standardized uh, uh, report and methodology for all Oregon hospitals. It uses the 3M software uh, methodology. People may have heartburn about that. Um, it really looks at potentially preventable readmissions, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what that means. But it is a huge leap from where we've been. Um, so even though it, um, you heard today, don't let perfect stand in the way of good, we're on that path and, and we're trying to do a better job here. Probably the coolest thing is that um, there's no data burden to the hospitals. They already submit data to comp data. Uh, this is claims data that they submit on a quarterly basis uh, to the hospital association. Um, and so we are able to access that data and, and use it for these reports. So this is a prize health insights. This is not a commercial for a prize, but I needed to let you know a little bit more about the background and the context of where we've been and kind of our journey for you to appreciate um, what we're trying to do. Um, a prize uh, had our rollout webcast last week. I don't know if any of you had the opportunity to be on that webcast to hear more about uh, what it is and what they're going to be able to offer. Um, for purposes of today, I just want to focus on the readmissions report. Um, this is one of their slides. They call it a premium report. Um, it's not a standard report, it's a premium report. So uh, uh, developed for Oregon hospitals. And as I mentioned, we're all about uh, the PPRs, po potentially preventable readmissions. And so this doesn't, um, uh, account for all cause readmissions, but we really want to focus on where the highest risk is and what we might be able to do in regards to um, those admissions. Um, and uh, it's menu driven and Excel based as you can see so that a user can manipulate the data and uh, customize it for their own needs. You heard a little bit about this already this morning. We don't need to uh, deliberate this again, um, hospitals are concerned. They are not the only player in the game around readmissions. However, they're going to be facing penalties uh, about uh, excessive readmissions according to CMS um, as uh, the next couple of years go by. And really the bottom line, a new way of looking at this is a failure in tra appropriate transition. And so um, that is uh, the positive uh, spin on this to see if we can do something about this. So um, potentially preventable readmission, um, a return to the hospital that is related to the care of their original diagnosis. We focused on readmissions within seven days and 30 days. We heard this morning that half the readmissions occur after 30 days, but this is where we chose to start. Um, just because this is where CMS is focusing on the 30-day piece, 
So it makes sense that um, our focus is the most uh, relevant and valuable at this point in time. <clears throat> These reports will be able to uh, sort readmissions by uh, the top 25 DRGs for a specific hospital, uh, where they came from, their admission source, uh, and where they're going, who's paying for the care, who the physician of record was, um, and uh, all uh, related to service lines. So the benchmarking is limited. This is just focusing on Oregon hospitals, so we can't um, benchmark with other hospitals or uh, states in the nation, but we wanna get a handle on what Oregon hospitals are doing. Um, and they can benchmark if they're a critical access hospital against uh, others in their peer group. If you're a hospital in a system, then you can benchmark against um, uh, other hospitals in your system. So what about the data then? So with uh, the Apprise readmission report as a backdrop, um, this is what I could get for purposes of today's presentation here. Um, not compared to anything in particular, but just the Oregon story. So we just took two snapshots of time, last June 2010 and March of this year. Where were we with the DRG around um, CHF in Oregon? This is all hospitals critical access, um, as well as PBS hospitals, urban and rural. So you can see that it went up. So what does that mean? So there wasn't any deep drill down as far as analysis uh, around this data at this point in time. But just, I wanted to be able to uh, let you know that we're on point to try to uh, focus on this and to track this, and just two data points that I can um, share with you. We, prior to this, didn't have a, an idea of what hospital readmission rate for CHF was in our state. So now at least we've got a jumping off point. So you heard also this morning about hospitals that are involved in the hospital quality initiatives. We have 12 hospitals in our state that are working with um, AF4Q in reducing readmissions for the CHF patients. They started last fall in uh, efforts to do process improvement. And so what you see here, uh, the HQN hospitals are in blue. Um, the first bar, June 2010, was prior to any intervention or strategies on their part. And then March of 2011, so just about four or five months into their efforts. So um, it doesn't look like we're going in the right direction. Um, uh, I don't know all of the variables that would impact this. I guess one encouraging thing, and I was looking for the encouraging thing here, is that um, maybe when these hospitals started, they had the most to gain as far as really focusing on this and making improvements, and that uh, several months later that they're not increasing as rapidly as some of the other hospitals in the state, so I was grasping at whatever I could get, so. But uh, anyway, so it just kind of gives you a, a flavor. So March of this year, the rest, you know, all hospitals in Oregon, we're hovering around that 13.5% readmission rate. Uh, what you hear in the nation is 20 to 25%. You know, Oregon is notoriously a low cost and efficient state, but we're not perfect. We certainly have opportunity for improvement. Um, but anybody surprised by this number? Did you think it'd be worse? Worse, okay, better? Do we have a better? Okay, okay. So as far as COPD goes in Oregon, uh, I did the same two snapshots in time as far as what, what is a rate, where's our baseline rate here? And so you can see earlier this year, we're like about 11.6% for our state. So I was kind of surprised at this. Um, I'm not really aware of any concerted effort around COPD uh, process improvement in our state, um, but you may be um, in your areas of work or, or your um, hospitals or practices. Um, so this actually is, seems like pretty, pretty fair news. So what does it really mean? Um, you know, I, I'm not gonna stand up here and quote uh, statistically significance on any of this so far. It's just a starting point. We know that there's a lot of work being done. This is obvious uh, around reducing re hospital readmissions. We know where each Oregon hospital is with their pre potentially preventable readmission data. We're gonna to continue to track that. This is a product that, um, 
they can subscribe to through the hospital association. And we are working with Mylea and the rest of Q Corp uh, as far as being able to um, put this out on a hospital report card uh, at some point in the very near future. And I guess the most encouraging thing um, about today and um, in general about this work is that um, you know hospitals are not accountable for all of this. We all we all need each other to work together to uh, to do this. We can't do it alone. Um, we're one blip on the continuum of care, and uh, we welcome your input and expertise. So, thank you.